algebra review. So this question says solve 2 times 4 minus 3x plus 5 equals 3 times 2x minus 7 plus 5x. So this is an equation to solve. When it asks us to solve, what it wants us to do is find a value that we could put in for every single x in this equation that would make the left side of the equation come out to be the same number as the right side of the equation. So one of the things I notice is that there are quite a few brackets here. So the first thing I'm going to do is expand out any brackets that I have. So I'm going to take that 2 and multiply it into the first bracket. And I'm going to take this 3 over here and multiply it into the second bracket. So 2 times 4 is 8. And 2 times negative 3x is negative 6x. And then there's this little plus 5 sitting there. And then 3 times 2x is 6x. 3 times negative 7 is negative 21. And then there's that 5x, which is not part of the bracket, so it doesn't get multiplied. So once I've multiplied out my brackets, I'm just going to collect up any like terms that we might have on either side. So like terms are terms that have the same variable or that don't have a variable. So if I look at this side, I have an 8, a minus 6x, and a 5. I don't see any other terms with an x, but the 8 and the 5 are like terms because they don't have any variable with them. So 8 plus 5, I can add those together to get 13. And then I still have take away 6x. And I cannot add these together because they're not like terms. They don't both have an x. On this side, I notice that I have two terms with x's. I have a 6x and a 5x, so I can add those together to get 11x. And then I have a minus 21. And I cannot add these together because they are not like terms. They don't both have x's. So once I get to this step here, um, what I want to do is I want to try to move my x's all to one side. So I have a choice. I could either move the 6x over to the right, or I could move the 11x over to the left. So a lot of people like having the x on the left-hand side of the equation. Um, but if I move the 11x over, I'm going to end up with a negative number. Um, if I move the 6x to the other side, I'll end up with a positive number. So I try to always move the smaller number. That usually works for me, and I don't end up with a lot of negatives. So the negative 6 is smaller than 11. So I'm going to move the 6x over to the other side by doing the opposite and adding 6x. So that leaves 13 on this side. And then 11x plus 6x is 17x. Take away 21. Now, if you don't like having the x on the right-hand side, if you like having the x on the left-hand side, you can actually just flip your equation over. So as long as you leave everything exactly the way you see it, you can flip the left side and the right side to get 17x take away 21 equals 13. And if you don't need to flip it, you can leave it exactly the way it was before and just keep solving from there. So I have 17x minus 21 equals 13. When we start rearranging to solve and isolate for x, what we try to do is use the order of operations or bed mass backwards, which means the first thing that we try to move is any addition or subtraction we might have, and then division and multiplication, and then exponents and brackets. But we tend to usually multiply the brackets out, so that's not a bit of a problem. So here, the first thing I'm going to move is addition and subtraction. So I have a subtract 21. So I'm going to do the opposite and add 21 to both sides. So I have 17x left over. And 13 plus 21 is 34. So I now have multiplication 17 times x. So to move multiplication, we do the opposite and we divide. So we're going to divide both sides by 17. 34 divided by 17 gives me 2. Now, if I wanted to check my answer to see if it was correct, 
I could put the 2 in everywhere I see an x and then calculate the left side, see what number we get, calculate the right side, see what number we get, and then check to make sure that we got the same value for both sides. But the question didn't ask us to check, so we're just going to stop at an answer of x equals 2. And that's solving equations with brackets and terms on both sides.